Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Ref Guess. My co-host on Shea Station, Jerry Blevins, is in the office today. And as you know from last week's episode with Trey Turner, when we get a high-profile guest, we make the episode all about them. It's Jerry Blevins' teammates day. That's today's theme. Let's see how everybody did. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Here we go. All-star. Cleveland shortstop. Oh... I'm only looking at these teams, and I'm already thinking a guy. Shortstop, bounced around. Um, bounced around a lot. Oh, a recent player, as recent as 2021. So we got Cleveland, and this is a shortstop. But then he kind of, whoa, whoa, bounced around. Went to second, went to third, went to first. All right, so longtime Cleveland Indian. He is a hitter, middle infielder. Started in Cleveland, went to Tampa. This is a uh, middle infielder. First thought was Johnny Peralta. It's not Johnny Peralta. It's not Yunel Escobar. It's a guy who had some Mets years. So he was a Met in 2017, 135 games. So then this player went on to play for the Mets, Phillies, Texas, Washington, did the whole car wash. I'm getting very much dog vibes from this guy. This guy's a dog. Um, I think he came up in the Trey Turner episode. He was a starter for the 2019 World Series team on game seven. Played with him in... Six, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is correct. 18 went to Philly. Oh, I know this is. This is mother friggin'. This is Ash Dribble. Ash Dribble Cabrera. This is Dribble Cabrera. Oh, it's Dribble Cabrera. Cleveland for a while. It's Dribble Cabrera? This is Ass Crabs. <laughs> it's Dribble Cabrera. I'm gonna go with it's Dribble Cabrera. I don't remember him playing in Arizona or Cincy in 21, but I'm still pretty. Pretty good that this is as Drupal Cabrera. Shout out to Cabby, great teammate, also a, a number thirteen aficionado. He stole it from me in the sixteen. Oh right, years. is that yeah. so? What were you instead? You were... I was thirty nine, but I was thirteen and fifteen, and then he, I was, we were both free agents. He signed like two days before I signed and took the number. So, Abs Drupal, my pronunciation always great, always great. Right. Toaster Strudel Cabrera, Ash Drupal Cabrera. Medium. 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 Here we go. Oh, the Devil Rays. Well, I hate the Devil Rays. DH, outfielder. Okay. Tampa Bay Devil Ray was on that team that went to the World Series. Rays DH to the Reds, to the Nats. DH and some left field. Rays Reds. Let's see. He's a DH. Always been kind of thing okay so this is a power hitting guy right the team sound familiar like the team sound very familiar big home run guy for the most part early in his career 20 not big but I hit eight home runs for the Rays. was a person for that 2013 red sox you can see where we cross paths it was in 2012 it's kansas city in 2015 atlanta then went to oakland the next year Went to Oakland, left fielder. A couple names, when I see Ray's outfielder in the 2000s, like I'm thinking like BJ Upton, Carl Crawford, Desmond Jennings. Um, this is like right at the beginning of my baseball knowledge, in my opinion, so he's got a beard. I know, like I can envision this guy. I'm pulling a Kenobio, folks. I know what this guy looks like, no clue. I think I gotta give it up. Oh, 2013 Red Sox, I should know this. Uh, Johnny Gomes? I believe this is Johnny Gomes. Oh, this is Johnny Gomes. But he's got a cool name, hit a cool swing. He was a big part of that 2013 team. This is Johnny Gomes. Johnny Gomes. All right, this is an outfielder DH. I'm going to assume he's right-handed. He's a beloved figure in every place he's been. World Series champion. This is Johnny Gomes. That's correct. Love love me some Johnny Gomes. Yeah, how was he as a teammate? Uh, fantastic. He, he fired, like, it's not an act the way he comes across. He does that to his teammates as well. Truly like a, a fantastic clubhouse. I know Johnny Gomes. I'm not, a, I'm not mad at myself. I just, I never thought of him. I would have thought of him as a right early in his career. All right, hard mode. Am I about to get hard on ref guess? I have an important news bulletin. I'm about to get hard with Jerry Blevins. I didn't get hard with Trey Turner. I'm not letting myself not get hard with a major leaguer. Played together for quite a while. Started career in Oakland, 
Let's see the position. A pitcher. Okay. Rookie of the year, 2008. Oakland, Arizona. Oh, a reliever. Dude, a National League reliever for the most part. That's tough. So we got an Oakland reliever, bro. <laughs> Come on. Bullpen guy. Went from Oakland to Arizona. Oh, some saves for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Oh. Do I have the timeline right on this guy is the question. A's reliever. Okay, okay. I assume that's where the teammate came into play. Rookie of the year, number eight in 2008 for the Oakland Athletics. Then moved on to the Arizona Diamondbacks. Went to Boston for a year, then Miami, and then back to Arizona. I think this might be the smartest man in baseball. Really? Let's see. Let me just make sure. No, this isn't him. So my first thought that this was a lefty, but I, I know who this is, but my first thought, Craig Breslow, is who I thought, but he started his career in Minnesota. Oh, this is a hard one, man. This is not like a premier closer by any, any means. 30 saves. All right, so from Arizona, he went to the Red Sox. My mind jumps to a reliever that threw at an unorthodox angle. So, 11 years, pitched until he was 38. Arizona in 2013, dude. 390 ERA plus. Holy cow. Hard mode. Brad Ziegler. Ziegler? I think this is Brad Ziegler. Three weeks in a row not getting hard. I'm to call my doctor. I don't know. I don't know. It's not coming to me. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to waste more time on this. But this is a righty submariner who's had a phenomenal career coming up later, dropped down late in his career. This is Brad Ziegler. That is correct. Has some things in Cooperstown because he broke the record for the most consecutive innings scoreless to start a career. His first season in 08, uh, I think it was something like 42 innings to start a career. Pretty amazing. Another week not getting hard. Do you? That's not a real name. <laughs> Brad Ziegler? That sounds like a name made from like Diary of a Wolfie Kid. Well, half the pack is making it into today's trivia round. We got Max Manis, we got BBD, we of course have Jerry Blevins himself, and how about Dan Rourke coming into the fold, getting into the trivia round? But before I can tell you today's trivia question, I of course have to tell you about today's sponsor, which is MLB Nine Innings, your new favorite baseball trading card app out right now. You can download it with the link in our description. And guys, there's plenty to love about this app. There's a wide variety of game modes from season long play to online PVP. There's over 2000 cards in their library full of your favorite players like Larry Walker, Hank Aaron, Mike Schmidt, Trevor Hoffman, you name it, they have it. They have the most up-to-date rosters, team logos, ballparks, team names, everything you need for a great MLB trading card app they have. Click the link in our description to download MLB 9 innings right now and start your new favorite game on your mobile phone. But without further ado, let's get to today's trivia question. We're keeping it with left-handed pitchers for this trivia question. There's been three lefties since 1980, that's over 40 years ago, to strike out 300 batters in a single season. I'm going to give players four guesses to see if they can get three answers. Let's see who comes away with the crown. Kershaw's done it. Yes. This might be the most casual take of all time because it threw me off today when I heard it. Was Randy Johnson a lefty? Yes. Did he, uh, Randy Johnson? Word. Okay, cool. I don't even really have two more guesses, to be honest with you. I legitimately have to throw in the towel. I don't have a name in my head. Randy Johnson. Yes. Not an official guess. CC is coming to mind. So is David Price. I don't think either of them did it. Oh. Okay. Kershaw. Yes. Okay. I guess I'll throw CC out there. I don't think it's right. I'll throw CC him out there. CC topped out at 251 in okay. 2008. All right. I don't think it's right. I'll guess David Price. David Price is incorrect. Okay. If Randy Johnson isn't one of them, I Randy Johnson is one of them. <laughs> Robbie Ray's a strikeout guy. You going with Robbie Ray? Yes. That is incorrect. Uh, I have the next guy that popped into my mind, but I feel like he's gotten... He's had enough full years. I think he's a real candidate. Let's throw Chris Sale out there. Chris Sale is correct. Good, good. He, I figured he had to have a, a full enough year to get to 300. So I'm going to guess Tom Glavin. Tom Glavin's career high for strikeouts in a season was 192. Damn. 300 since 1980. So that's that's further back. Let's start with Clayton Kershaw. Clayton Kershaw is one of them. He did okay. it in 2015. 301. Randy Johnson. That is number two. He did it a few times. Cliff Lee came to mind. I'm not going to make that a guess. Cole Hamels. I'm not sure if he ever touched 300. That's so many. 300 is so many. 
All right, got two out of three. Let me let me think. I've got Zito in my mind, but I don't think he got to 300. It's so hard. CC's up there. I'm gonna I'm gonna make my last or my third guess be CC Sabathia. So CC topped out at 251. Ooh. Johan popped in my head. I'm gonna go Johan Santana. So Johan topped out at 265. Gosh, that's so many. Well, nobody wanted to take the crown today. Everybody got two of the three answers, kind of mixing it up in between. The three answers were Chris Sale, Clayton Kershaw, and Randy Johnson. A great showing from today's competitors, a great competition overall. Guys, if you enjoy the Ref Guest videos, as always, leave a like and subscribe to the JM Baseball channel and ring the bell for all future notifications so you don't miss a single upload on this channel. But I'll see you guys next week for another episode of Ref Guest. Have a great week.